I'm Vanessa and I am an independent living skills trainer with the adult and senior program with the San Antonio Lighthouse for the Blind and today we're going to be talking about medication management. So a typical scenario that I come across when I'm visiting with someone that has low vision or total blindness is being able to independently manage their medications. It's important to be able to continue taking any medications and prescriptions that are prescribed by your doctor at the right time, taking the right dosage and the right medicine, of course, is very important. So being able to independently manage all your medications is vital to your well-being and your health. So today we're going to be talking about some labeling methods so that you can achieve that. And so some obstacles that have I have come across in visiting with people that I that I visit with in their homes is difficulty reading the prescription information on the bottles because maybe the labels are small print or maybe a lack of an organization system. Um, is preventing from being able to ensure that they are taking all the medications that they do need to take daily or even multiple times a day. So let me show you some examples of some items and some techniques that we can be able to provide for you as a rehab trainer. I'm able to do an assessment over the phone and kind of identify and share some strategies for you to help with your independence level. So an example of an adaptive aid that is available through our program is called a medicine bottle grip. So if you happen to find that the labels on your medicine bottle are too small of a print and it's hard to read the prescription information, this or even to open the cap of the bottle, this is a device that's kind of twofold. So the first purpose of it is it has a graduated inside so that it accommodates the caps that are that come in different sizes and so it kind of helps to grip the cap if you have any difficulty with dexterity um, maybe suffer from arthritis uh, this helps to grip the medicine bottle cap and you turn it left I always like to remember lefty loosey righty tighty so I'm going to turn it left and the medicine bottle grip holds on to the cap and even holds on to it as you're getting all your medication from the bottle. And when you're done, you simply put it back onto the bottle, rotate it right, and pop off the medicine bottle grip. The other feature of this adaptive aid is it has a magnifier that is a 4x strength. And so if you're needing to read the prescription information on the label, you can use that to, to read that important information when you need to take that medication or how many pills if you need to take with or without food. Um, this is really good to utilize for that purpose or to help read any kind of smaller print in a pinch, for example. Another way to help um, encourage uh, medication management is labeling your medicine bottles so in a tactile manner so that you can use your sense of touch to determine how many pills um, and how many times a day you need to take your medication. That's really important information. So let me share with you a technique that we like to um, provide as a service through our program. I have here what are called bump dots and bump dots are adhesive stickers that have a rubber texture. This is a sheet of small orange flattened bump dots and you kind of just peel the bump dot off and you can use these to label all sorts of different things. Uh, personally, I've labeled my keys for the door so that I know which key goes to which lock, um, but you can use these to help uh, determine how many medications you need to take a day. So the way that I like to do this is, for example, if I need to take this particular medication two pills a day, twice a day, the way that I would label that is I would take two bump dots, peel them off the sheet, and place them on the cap of the medicine bottle uh, cap here and that will signify two pills because they're round so that reminds me that they're about the shape of a pill for example so I have two and then I would take 
a rubber band and wrap it around the bottle and another one because I know that this bottle, I take two medications that I have here on the cap and twice a day I have two rubber bands around the bottle. So that tells me as I'm filling, um, taking my medication that gives me the information that I need to know. So that is a strategy that we like to share um, and, and, I, and I really encourage you using this if, if it's difficult to read information from the bottle. Another uh, technique is maybe you just need to label the medicine bottle what the medicine is. And so I have an index card that I used a hole punch to punch a hole on the top left hand corner and I wrapped a rubber band through and I wrote in my bold print sharpie marker an abbreviation of a medication. So for example, I wrote on this card ASP to signify aspirin, for example, and then I would take the rubber band and wrap it around the medicine bottle so that I can visually see with better ease what this medication is. Instead of having to use a magnifier if that is fatiguing, uh, you can use this as a large print label. Additionally, you can put any kind of dosage, dosage information on the label um, as you see fit. So another obstacle that I typically uh, come across is maybe the person does not have a way to organize the medications that they are taking. If they are taking multiple medications, it's important to make sure you maintain an organization system just to have better ease of use of the things that you need to take. Or perhaps they do have like an organization system such as a pill box, but perhaps it's a little bit too small to fit the fingers. Again, we're, if we're working with someone that has uh, difficulty with dexterity, needing to reach into the pill box container to pull out the pills can be an issue as well. So another adaptive aid that we provide through the Lighthouse is large print pill boxes. And I have an example here and I added some features just to kind of give you an idea of some modifications that we can do, whatever works for you and what your needs are. So this particular pill box features bold print letters to signify each day of the week. It starts on Sunday and ends on Saturday on the right hand side. The pill box opens from the bottom with a flap so that you can fit a lot of medicines or just be able to grab whatever pills that you need and it clasps shut. Another feature that it might be hard to see on camera but on the bottom right hand corner of each day there are the letters signified in braille print. So if you are a braille reader you would be able to tactically discern which day you need to take your medications. If you are not a braille reader and it is difficult to know which day, then what I have done here as another modification is taking what is called puffy paint. Puffy paint is a craft paint that you can buy at, at grocery stores in the craft section or a craft store and it's a fabric paint that dries in a raised plastic texture. So I've taken the puffy paint and I've labeled um, Wednesday on the pill box as example. So you would take the paint, write the letter, and you would need to allow it to dry for 24 hours. That way if you have difficulty reading the letters on the pill box, you can use your sense of touch to follow the puffy paint as when it's dry to determine what day it is for. Um, so that's just another example of a modification that we can do for you at the Lighthouse. Uh, through our program. Another modification, if you needed to take medicines more than once a day, maybe two or three times a day, we can discern each of the pill box by, again, using the bump dots. They're very versatile in that way. So an example would be, I have an orange raised circular bump dot on the side that signifies Sunday. I have one there, one bump dot to identify that that is the first dose of the day. If you have two doses for the day, I would put two bump dots. So that way you can you can feel with your sense of touch, oh, 
This is my pill box for my noontime medicine. For example, if you take your second dose at noontime, you can do however many however many dosages you take um, for PM or right before bedtime medications. We can provide a pill box for that as well. I like to indicate that that time to put a uh, black bump dot to signify nighttime, just to make it a little bit easier to visually discern between the pill boxes. So those are a couple of the strategies uh, that we can share for you. Uh, whatever you need, you can let us know and we can do an assessment with you over the phone. I also want to provide a couple of resources for you uh, regarding prescription assistance programs. There's one in San Antonio called Any Baby Can and they may be able to provide financial assistance or purchase of prescription medications. Um, the phone number for that is 210-227-0170 to get connected with that program. Another resource that's available is called Script Talk. And Script Talk is a service that is provided where you receive a reader that's about the size of two hands placed side to side together. And the pharmacy puts a tag on the pill bottle and you take the pill bottle and you lift, you put it just over the reader and the reader audibly speaks all of the prescription information that is located on the label so that you can audibly tell how many pills you need to take. All of the information is provided for you audibly rather than needing to read the information on the label itself. If you are interested in receiving that program, then I urge you to contact your HEB or Walmart or Sam's Club. That service is specifically available at select HEB stores, Walmart pharmacies, and Sam's Club pharmacies. So thank you again for watching today's video on medication management. I hope that it was helpful. And if you would like more information on our program, please call us at the San Antonio Lighthouse for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Our phone number is 210-533-5195. Or you can visit our website at salighthouse.org. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe and visit our Facebook page. My name is Vanessa Teeley and thank you for watching. I hope we were able to brighten your day. Thank you.